Here we want to graph the linear inequality y greater than or equal to 5x. And this is in two variables, so we're going to have to graph it in two dimensions and then shade the region for which this inequality holds true. Um, the way I like to approach these, again, is get this into y equals mx plus b form, which this already is, right? There's an equal sign here. That's the inequality over here. But there's no b. So what that means is really there's plus 0. And when you have an equation that's just of the form y equals 5x, that means it passes through the origin. Through the origin. I'll just say 0, 0. That's the origin. OK, so there's no y-intercept. So the point, the y-intercept is 0, 0. Let's put it that way. Um, the slope, right, this 5 here is the slope. The slope is 5, but 5 might be hard to conceptualize. So let's write this as 5 over 1 for the slope. Here's our rise. Here's our run. Rise goes with y's. So it's going to go up 5 on the y-axis and over 1 on the x-axis. Okay, so we're starting here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 5, and then over 1 to the right. So here we go. Oops. Here we go. And then since this is greater than or equal to, this equal to means we do a solid line instead of a dashed line. Okay, well, there's a line. Okay, now, um, when you're in this notation, y equals mx plus b, greater than, shade up, less than, shade down. And in this example, we are in greater than, so we're going to shade up. So that means we're going above the line to shade. So I'm thinking this direction here. So shading this whole region over here. Right? All of that gets shaded. And if this was greater than but not equal to, this would be a dashed line. OK. There we go. Let's try another one of these. For this example, we have x is less than 5y. OK, so to approach this, we still want to get it into the form y equals mx plus b, which means we need to solve this thing for y. First thing I would do here is rewrite this inequality. Instead of x less than 5y, I'm going to rewrite this as 5, uh, 5y greater than x. Note that these two statements are equivalent. They're just written in opposite directions. I just wrote this instead of left to right. I just wrote it from right to left and reversed it. OK, and now we divide by 5. So we get y greater than, and I'm going to write this as 1 fifth x. OK, because that helps us really spot the slope. Here's our m, and we have nothing here, so that tells us that b equals 0. And again, this one goes to the origin. Anytime you don't have a constant term out to the side here when you get your line, your equation of a line, um, that means it goes to the origin. OK, so here's our origin point there on the graph. And let's examine our slope here. Slope is 1 fifth. So it looks like we're going to go up 1 and right 5, since these are both positive. OK, so we can do that. We go up 1 and 5 to the right takes us over to 5. So there we go. We need to connect these two points. And it's going to be a dashed line because this inequality does not have an equal sign beneath it or as part of the inequality. So it's going to be dashed, a dashed line. If this was a greater than or equal to, it'd be a solid line. OK, so here we go. Doing my dashed line through the two points. And then 
Since we're in the form y equals mx plus b, once you're in this form, greater than means shade up, and this is y greater than 1 fifth x, so that tells us that we're shading up, so shading up above the line like so. This whole region gets shaded. There we go.